and soon my friends we shall hear the beautiful sound of freedom inducing bubbling of water that we've boiled for free <laughs> pointless it may be but very satisfying it remains and what did they die? Oh, my pretty ones! Greetings friends, it's Christmas Day and it's about to get dark, so let's just go see what the turbine's doing. 11 miles per hour, gentle breeze from the southwest. Just a heads up, this is a prediction for Wednesday starting at 9am. And you don't often see that, 48 and 47, you don't often see that. So the middle of the day is going to be an absolute blitzkrieg, so just let you know that is for Wednesday, the 27th. But right now it's saying 11 miles per hour and it's going to stay there, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it should be rattling around all night. Let's go see what it's doing. You can see hardly any movement in the top of the trees. That's a good indicator. If, you, if I've got a live stream going and they're waffling around all over the place, then you know we're hitting, hitting high wind speeds. So it's working pretty well. It's still got this weird wobble, which I think I know that's something to do with... Uh, it's hard to explain, but when the t turbine, the, when the tower comes down and everything's sideways and you undo the bearings, and I think we've lost a little bit of alignment there. And I think the shaft isn't quite perfectly central. It's a pretty good feeling to be under these blades when they're howling around, I'll be honest with you. Lord for the faint-hearted, dear. Oh dear. beast you can see it wobbling a bit more there the tail has a bend in it I noticed which although may not cause a huge amount of difference yeah that's got a bit of a bend in it but you've got to remember the Blade the blade hub and the drive shaft, which is one part of the turbine, that weighs 30 kilos. So when those blades are shifting around like that, there is some juice to be had. I had thought about putting these on the other day, but now it's running really nice. I'll just leave it. But yeah, let's go see what the meters say. Might come back, but at this kind of wind speed, there's no load attached. I haven't got, I'm not attempting to boil any water or anything like that. I've left the speed controller plugged in <clears throat> with that meter. So if it does get really windy, I can just stick that on. But yeah, that's how it's going. Let's see if we can stay, if it makes 100 or over 100 watts for a bit. You will notice without a load on, it does get to the uh, 26, 27 volts fairly easily, more easier than you'd think. Let's just, I'm just gonna put the dump load on 100% and we'll see what happens. I expect the turbine to grind to a halt. Going on now. So now the turbine's battling against the weak batteries and doing very well. Go on you beauty. Sorry, I've not got a light in here. Let me try to get a light sorted, hang on a sec. I'll leave it on there for a minute while I try and figure out what's going on with the lighting situation. Ah. Right, it's still plugged into the dump load, so the battery's still gonna, this battery's trying to drain itself, basically. There's the power that's getting drained through the dump load. And it's strange because it does vary, vary quite a lot depending on how much power's coming in. You'll see it's going up there. There you see it's on 225. Oh, the water's already getting warm, believe it or not. The turbine's doing better than I would have expected, really. Hey, all the fives. Yes, what I was gonna say is the orange cheapo budget controller that I'm using, I found out the other day, if the voltage goes below 18, it switches off, which is very strange because uh, when you're drawing a load, it doesn't switch the load off, it just switches the controller off. So whatever you've got draining the batteries will keep draining them and nothing will be coming in 
and there's no chance of the batteries going back over 18 unless you, you turn the load off, so. Right, okay, I've got to kind of correct myself there, because I remember now, now I'm in the possession of two dump loads. I found this one in the garden, so that's a 300 watt, 24 volt. If you stick that up to fully charged 24 volt battery, it should give you around 300 watts. Uh, this one should be 600, but I'm not sure if it is, but you can see it's got two, it's essentially two of these in one. It's like to rain a bit, which some, sometimes does have quite a negative effect on the turbine, I'm not sure why. There you go. Beauty! That's what we want. And soon, my friends, we shall hear the beautiful sound of freedom-inducing bubbling of water that we've boiled for free. Pointless it may be, but very satisfying it remains. So just a reminder, that's on 100, the 999 Amazon Speed Controller. And the lower the turbine out, sorry, the lower the voltage of the battery is, then the turbine's having to work really hard. If that drops down to 19, then it's really struggling. It's almost as it goes to 24, 25, 26, it gets somewhat easier because the momentum of the turbine is uh, pretty much perfect. If we get a big gust in, it'll be interesting to see what the power going to the dump load goes up, up to. But it's kind of proportional to the battery voltage. You will notice as well, there's always a slight differential between the battery voltage shown here and the voltage shown on the uh, watt meter due to a small loss in the cable, presumably. I'm gonna leave that film in the element while I go and get my charger. Actually, I'll leave it on the meter. Right, I'll leave it on that, pray for wind. It's taking its time boiling today. Like the other day, it was gobbling away it was. Gonna leave it filming that, it's getting warm, but. There's not enough wind. I'm going to turn the speed controller off a second because I need to replace these horrendously bad wires that are in here. They're not horrendous. Horrendous. They're not horrendously bad for certain things. Sorry, they're not horrendously bad for certain things. But for this, they're not any good, really. Cables. Snippity snip. I hate these little connectors. That way. Just trying to get the wire nice and thin. Needs a bit more of a trim. Let's get a new bit. I 
I'm going to try and be clever and cut some of this away and leave us with enough to go in that very small jobby. There you go. That hopefully will go in there. Need to remove a bit more of the shielding. Try and give it a few more strands. There you go. You've got to be careful with these boards because if you push down, if you if you were to sit here and right, I'll put my old big fat thumb on that with enough man force as possible, and then you'll have a problem. Right now we can address the other one. You will notice I've put that in the positive area, which is a bit stupid, seeing as I do have the correctly coloured wires. Um, yeah, sorry, you can see it's upside down, but that is in the wrong place. Might as well do it properly. It doesn't matter, for, out of interest, when you're connecting these, it does not matter which wire goes. That's This is a better example to show, because it's only got two connectors. It doesn't matter which one goes where, because it's just creating a resistance flowing through the thick metal. So, just let me find a positive cable. Red cable, even. Obviously the dump load isn't drawing anything at the minute because we're fanning about with it. I'm just nicking a bit of wire that, at the minute, is joined onto something else. Right, so I've got some red cable. I'm going to do the same again. Sometimes it's easier just to cut, cut it fresh. Cut it fresh. Take off about a centimetre. Perfect. Trim off those. Saw out the other end of the cable before you connect the other thing. Sweet, and now let's try this again. Let's make sure it's going in the right one. Yeah, those tiny, the tiny thin wires, which is actually for doorbell devices, that's only two amps, so. It's the cable we made earlier, or is it? No, I don't think it is. There's some juice in. Right, hopefully those wires are going to be okay and going to flap around all over the place. We can get, get rid of those little pair of hobgoblins. Let's get a close up of those little sparky juices. All right, let's connect that on. And watch the wind die. Oh, my pretty ones. Right, the wind has gone. The wind is literally gone. We're going to stick with it. Take note, there is still the voltage differential. Uh, that's mainly because... Let me show you, the cable has to come to the... Sorry. The cable has to come from the batteries to here, okay, so that's about two feet long and that's about two feet long, to the meter, out the other side of the meter, that's about two feet long, then connected here uh, to the speed controller, which is very simple, positive power in, on the left you've got uh, power positive, on the right yellow power negative, and then you've just got that to go to the load, and then obviously you can turn it off if you want, and then there's an immediate pickup in the power from the turbine because the turbine isn't having to do anything. But the whole point is to try and boil some water so it's going back on 100. Right, I'm going to leave that recording and come back out in 10 minutes. We'll get the camera nice and close so we might hear some of that freedom bubbling. Right, pray for wind. Just a reminder, we're running on 100%. There we go, five amps, seven amps, six, four, 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 
two, one, 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 less than one, zero. Oh, the batteries are getting very low, which is a shame. I'm going to turn the dump load down to 50%. Oh, I've just turned it off. I'm going to adjust it to... Where are you? There she is. I must admit, I wouldn't, won't get one with a rotary thing like this that takes so many turns to turn it down. It's quite difficult to see what it's saying because it's flashing 50. Right, I can hear a bit more wind, so let's put it on 50. That's what the dump load's using. I'll turn it. I'll turn it up 1% at a time. We'll see how much difference it makes on the amps. Actually, it's pointless doing while the power's fluctuating. It's getting very warm. But without the wind, it's a fruitless endeavour. Right, I'm going to turn it down to 25. Let's see what we're saying on the watts. So that's down to 30 now. 20. I'm just going to turn it off, see if the wind gets going again. Actually, seeing as though the batteries are on 22, let's see how long it lasts at 100. Right, what's going on now? Watch the batteries drop. Whoa. Not a good idea. All right, we're going to call an end on this in part one and come back later on if it gets windier. Can we see the steam? Yes, you can see a bit of steam there, can't you? It's really good. We'll hope for some wind. And once the voltage and the battery starts hitting 24 again, we can start it running. No, oh, it's trying now. We'll stick with it. No. We'll come back later on and we'll get that water boiling for sure. It's about an hour later. I've come back out to stick it on again. But the wind, there's not enough wind. It's on 100% the speed controller. It's actually stayed really warm. It's 13 degrees centigrade here at the moment. And the wind just died. There's not enough wind at the moment. Come on the wind. It makes that whining noise just at the exact point where it's start, it'll start hitting the 23 volts. And then once it's one or two volts over, there's not much sound apart from the blades wishing. Right, while well, we're in the juice, I'm going to stick it straight in 100 to see if the turbine does anything other than stop. Oh, there's a bit of wind. Go on, girl. Eee. 
So good to see, so satisfying, I know. With the small amounts of electricity, I know with the small amounts of electricity involved, you could be forgiven for thinking it was a bit weird getting excited about it. But... Now the turbine's gonna struggle below 20. Extend the speed control at 50%. See if we can get a bit more speed in the turbine. Twenty percent. And back up to a hundred. We got steam. Also got very low batteries. Go on your beauty, let's have 500 watts for it. No. Well, maybe it's getting a little bit windier. Right, the brake might come on here if it goes badly under 18. Keep an eye here. Ooh, just under here in the corner. Always a bit of a whiff of wind. Seventeen point nine. It's hovering around. Still below eighteen. Seventeen point nine three. Be amazed if it doesn't shut off, because we're still pulling only one hundred and thirty-seven watts. But if it's less than eighteen, slowed right down. But there's a few whiffs of wind up coming in. And we're saved from the braking. There's another whiff of wind. It's all about the gusts. Share your gusts. Oh, there, it just went on. Right, just go on again. And again. And again. Weird, the brake was flicking on and off. Oh, there's a whiff of wind. I do often get comments from people saying, oh, you need to take the load off because it's constraining what the turbine can do. But the whole point is to actually try and make it do something. You know, if it's, oh, I'm pretty sure the brake light just flashed on. It's pointless just having it waffing about all day and not actually having to do anything. Oh, there you see the brake light flashing. We're on 17.89. Oh, and again. Let's slow the turbine. Turbine has stopped. Turbine has still stopped. Right, I'm deliberately keeping the dump load on for now. So there. Whoops. So when I turn the damp load off, the brake should come off, which I've just done, and it should start going again. Since it starts shifting, I'll stick it on 100 again. 20.5 volts, that'll do. Right, so we're still trying to boil that. I'm gonna go inside for 10 minutes. Sorry, I'm going to go inside for 10 minutes and if the wind gets up a little bit we'll be laughing. You see the power we're using at the top for the dump load and this is the power the turbine's coming in and the perilous voltage of the batteries. If the batteries goes below 18 the brake may come on but while the brake is on and no power's coming in this power will still be going out so it's not an ideal scenario. But I must go and leave it and pray that it works.
that's not good. The battery's on 15. The brake is on. We have steam. Let's turn this off. All right, what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna disconnect that and then leave everything off and we'll come back and see if there's any wind. Come back and see if there's any wind because the water is very hot, but it's very hot, but I don't can see if it's steam coming out there. Anyway, if there's any wind, we'll come back in a bizzle. Strange how it puts the brake on and uh, doesn't allow it to recharge. I suppose it's to protect the batteries. I'm not sure away now. Maybe the princess will not go to the ball. Now we connect the wire from the meter. I'll turn that off a minute. Right, I'm going to put it on 100%. The turbine will either die or it will pick up. No, it died and the brake straight on that. Straight on. Right, off with the speed controller. See what we're going to do. Just going to wait. I'll wait till it gets a bit more juicy and we'll turn this down to 100. 50, 50. 20 minutes right there. I'm going to turn it to 20. Yeah, you can't see whatever angle it's at. Turn that to 20 when the power starts coming in. What I'm going to do is I'll switch off the camera, I'll come back in 15 minutes and we'll see if we've got any more power in the batteries.